the start of the West Indian innings. Nice way to get off the mark for Adrian Brab, who faces the first delivery for the first time in the series. Usually the captain, Chris Gale, takes on the first one. He's off the mark with a nice uh, push recover. It's not really a big drive. Just a very full ball, half volley. Nicely in position. Just stroked it. To the left of it up. For scale now, we'll have strike. A good series so far after the disappointments in Australia and the one day series there he had an outstanding test series in the three tests man of the series got a unbeaten hundred batting through the innings 165 not out in the second innings of the Adelaide test match followed that with 107 in Perth in the next one found things a lot more difficult when the West Indies went back after a break of about uh, about a month for the one day series Lost all five. There are these test matches in Australia. Wide from Chickenborough. Feel derided by much of the Australian media, not only Australian media either for some comments he made uh, which were seen to be disrespectful to test cricket last season but by the end of that series in uh, Australia won over a lot of his critics not only with his batting but with his entire demeanor done in this series is to show that uh, he's not afraid to criticize his players and he really did get into them you can see he had real problems there with especially with Doug Bollinger who got him out on every occasion in that uh, one day series West Indies lost in Trinidad and uh, in uh, Guyana in the first one there in Guyana and then the 2020 or re the reverse in the 2020 in Trinidad and the one there in Guyana he was very very critical well bowled well this pitch still has a little something in it chicken bore in fact bowled pretty well in the match on Wednesday at the at the top doesn't get very far forward Chris Gale just plays from the crease delivery just just going away from him slightly and following it with the bat and that's an area where he is he's had problems against right-handed bowlers in the past banged over the top typical Chris Gale Boundary for him. Well, you really can't afford to pitch the ball up that far. Just using his arms and muscling that over long off. said that very high in the air but it will go all the way you'd have to say it was a miss hit as far as Chris Gale is concerned they usually go all the way 
this one had height on it not the distance didn't really get hold of that ended up going straight down the ground but looked to have been aiming more to the outside wasn't really up to him this is where he meant it now this is going to be a six four four six having been beaten by the first delivery so slightly fuller this is the shot he wanted to play before just picked it up didn't didn't appear to hit it that hard but timed it perfectly and there it goes sailing over the boundary not looking to hang around Chris Gale just past the diving Taibu chase here for Price come back for two could be leg buys ball just trickle past, past the keeper and they are leg buys signal by umpire Simon Taufo came off the glove that leg by signaled there he goes again this could be another one it is what an over this has been beaten first ball four four six two leg buys and a six 26 without loss. Three, three. Just a little tap on the leg side. So just getting back to the, the low scores, which teams have found it uh, difficult to get runs, but not on this type of wicket. On uh, this type of pitch, they feel that they can score somewhat easier against spin. Tremendous match the West Indies had here in 2004. It was against Bangladesh. Bangladesh, 144 for eight. West Indies are. We're going to win this. Everyone around the ground was saying that. Luckily, in the end. Ian Bradshaw being there at the end just carried the West Indies home Ooh, that's Monks well, we've seen a bit of bounce there for the, the seamers on the West Indies ball but there's a bit for the spinners as well and some turn couldn't quite get to it the mid wicket fielder Gale just playing it delaying the shot getting it past the fielder a little defensive shot but with purpose gets him the single Adrian Barat playing a lot straighter than we have seen him play in the early matches in this tournament. 30 without loss. Now some off spin and Gale puts that away to backward square leg. Looks to be in good form, Chris Gale. Didn't really hit that. Let 
a very strange position there, Jeffrey. Leg slip. <laughs> oh! A little bit of turn there. Yeah, but that... I suppose it counts as a, a catching position. You've got to have two players in the catching positions. Through him, hit that really well on the reverse sweep. It's not a shot we have seen from Gale very often. But he's uh, got hold of that one really well. We've seen it a couple of times in this series. This is a shot of a man who's in good form, feeling confident. And that got hit pretty hard. And it's down the throat of the long off fielder. He takes a catch. Gale goes trying to clear him. Didn't quite have the distance on it. And a good catch down on the boundary. Well judged. Give himself some room. Wanted to hit it over cover. Probably wanted to hit it a bit squarer. Didn't catch it as he wanted to. And very coolly taken by Kramer on the boundary.